first time in Kansas City, high school teams on both sides of the state line have come together to form a boys volleyball league. Right now, there are 20 teams drawing huge crowds. Came tonight's Karen Kornacki takes a look at one of the teams giving it a try. Meet the Griffins, the new boys volleyball team at Winnetonka. They're one of 12 on the Missouri side. There are eight more in Kansas. We go as far east as Blue Springs, as far south as Raypac. As far west as Topeka and as far north as uh, Smithville. I think it's really cool that like all the coaches kind of came together and they're like, hey, let's do this, and they kind of did it. Part of the challenge for this new league is experience. And here at Tonka, there aren't many athletes who've played this game. In this area, boys grow up playing basketball, football, baseball, and soccer. They don't grow up playing volleyball. Guys will usually play volleyball. So they're like taking patience and teaching us how to play. This is like way more technique than I ever imagined. Just because if one player messes up, the whole team is obviously done for. The Griffins are learning from the best. Coach Espinoza has coached girls for years. He has more than 500 wins, and he's in the Missouri High School Hall of Fame. What we're teaching these kids is what girls learn when they're in probably sixth grade. The Griffins are 2-1, and one, but the true key to success is changing perception. This is a sport that I believe you have to sell to the dads. You have to get the dads convinced that it's okay for boys to play volleyball. And okay to own. Karen Kornacki, KMBC 9 News. How great is that? The league will be a sanctioned as a state sport if they have 50 teams playing for two years. Now with 40 teams out of St. Louis, Missouri should be able to do that.